Hey guys, I'm a gullible consumer, and today in the news, NVIDIA is saving the gamer. No, they're not. I mean, no, they're not saving the gamer. Well, actually, maybe. But which one is it, man? What is up, guys? I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. As you already know, at the last GPU release from the company, that's the RTX 3060, the green team took steps to prevent, or at least try to deter, bulk purchases of this GPU for mining. Right away, we saw tons of holes in their attempt at, quote, helping gamers. The only thing that this mining limiter did was identify one specific mining algorithm, that's Dagger Hashimoto, and after a little while, slash the mining capabilities in half, going from about 40 to 50 mega hashes down to 25 and some chain. They didn't stop any other algorithms, which means that if you wanted to mine using Octopus, CowPow, uh, Beam V3, Cuckoo Cycle, or all of the others, you could still get away with a good amount of coinage, sometimes just as much as the blocked algorithm. And that limiter doesn't really matter anyway, since Nvidia accidentally, actually come back to the camera, accidentally released drivers that bypassed the mining limiter and all hell broke loose. <coughs> now though, it seems like the company is back for a second round at helping gamers. Helping. Even though in the first round, they really just shot themselves in the foot, with that driver. So now Nvidia is prepping a second revision of the RTX 3060, a revision with, you guessed it, another mining limiter. Now you might say, what's the point? The driver will unlock it anyway, since it's already available online if you just look for it. Well, Nvidia is limiting mining by making this die a different device ID. In fact, the die itself should be engraved with GA106-302, which would replace the GA106-300 that is currently in circulation. This way, the driver won't recognize it as the old RTX 3060. There would also be other mechanisms at play to limit mining, but no details are available. So could this work? I really don't know. If Nvidia is once again only limiting Dagger Hashimoto though, then I don't think so. I don't think it would help at all because, well, there are plenty of other profitable coins to mine. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Also, in the same vein of news, we're not done here, we heard from leaker extraordinaire Copite7Kimmy. After he heard the news that the 3060 would get a second iteration, he reminded us that previously, he said that GA102 and GA104 could get the same treatment. GA102 and 104, in case you forgot, are the RTX 3060 Ti and 3070 for GA104, and 3080 and 3090 for GA102. Now, before you say that Nvidia can't because it would transform this into a lawsuit, Yes and no, but mostly no. As long as Nvidia follows certain rules, they would be able to enforce that limiter. For example, if Nvidia just decided to push out a driver that would limit mining, a lawsuit would unfold, even if they would try to justify it. If they, for example, say that starting on July 7th, for example, just a, a random date here, all RTX 3060 Ti, 70, 80, and 90 purchases would be mining limited, so any new purchases, it could be fine, but the company, Nvidia, wouldn't be able to enforce it at all. The device IDs of cards already in circulation, plus all of the new ones coming in, would be, well, two different device IDs, and people who bought it before that date would have the same device ID as people that bought it after, it would cause confusion, it wouldn't work, it's not really possible. So Nvidia would have to introduce GA102-302 or 202, and same thing for GA104. Those would have a new device ID for their drivers to identify and block mining. Anyways, if Nvidia does go through with refreshing GPUs with mining blocks, don't think for a moment that it's strictly for us. Sure, it definitely helps, since it would be less appealing to small-ish or starting mining farms, but Nvidia is really just trying to have their cake and eat it too. And since it's Nvidia, it's probably tiramisu. But yeah, even if they do limit mining, the big farms will just deal with the lower hash rate. 26 to 50 mega hashes per second is nothing to scoff at. Those are the numbers for the current 3000 series if you were to uh, divide it in two. Or the farms will switch to a different algorithm, making that coin more popular, more valuable, and then we're back to the races with uh, all GPUs being out of stock. Essentially, the mining block helps a minuscule amount, but Nvidia is really just doing this for the optics and to sell more CMP cards. 
Speaking of mining GPUs, the CMP line, it's starting to show up. Gigabyte had their CMP30HX in the news and it's, well, it's a mining cart. I guess. The CMP30HX, that's the lowest end model, is on sale in Romania for about $700 US. It does about 26 mega hashes and that's it. That's all we really know about it, except for the fact that it's basically a GTX 1660 with a lower memory clock. And now for a fresh piece of news, we got something pretty crazy. You know how when you look at a laptop or a desktop PC and you see a little black box on top if it's a desktop or maybe uh, on the frame there's a, there's a dot with, with some glass on it? Yeah, I'm talking about a webcam. Well, the webcam allows you to see other people, so why not make the experience way more immersive by simply making something like, ah! Yeah, so apparently someone thought that it was a good idea to make this. It's not really a product, just more of a guy creating an anthropomorphic eye blob thing, but it does have autonomy and can be pet. <laughs> I don't wanna pet that. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories and that, about that eye globby thing. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you Keep on, on the next one. Keep on falling, always stalling, always stalling. If no one's riding, but I've been riding. For you, for you, I, I.